Now what technology is allowing, allowing us to do is to have automated marketplaces where there can be multiple participants and funders and really provide the ability for companies to optimize the, the right credit, the right asset with the right funder. There's a few areas where this model of integrating financial technology has made things more seamless and is really suiting the way that customers want to buy equipment and want to finance equipment. We've seen from the data from the, from the Equipment Leasing and Finance Association that decisions about financing are happening closer and closer to where equipment is, is being bought. Mobile technologies are so much more seamless and, and ubiquitous and we're finding that, 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 that customers want to have their financing decision integrated at point of sale where they're buying equipment which is increasingly on a mobile device. I think one of the interesting things right now is that those that are in the fintech space across products are beginning to see what an attractive asset class equipment leasing is. And it really is on a relative basis if you look at equipment leasing and how it's performed through the cycles, there really is no other asset class that's performed better than equipment leasing other than U.S. Treasuries. So now we're actually start beginning to see some of the larger players in small business lending are, are understanding what those in our industry have known for a long time, which is equipment leasing assets perform great over time and are looking at ways to enter our market.